It was a good sandwich. Silence! Where's my sandwich? Yep. That's me. So you're probably wondering how I got in the situation. Well, my story begins about three weeks ago, when I had the bright idea to trip and fall for a stupid skit. But Henry VIII's story begins around 1491. June 28th, to be exact. King Henry, or Henry Tudor at the time, was born in Greenwich, England, to King Henry VII and Elizabeth of York. Not much is known about his childhood, except that he loved learning. He studied thoroughly throughout his childhood, mostly about astronomy, cartography, and navigation. Education meant a lot to him, and he went to many tutors to learn. Mommy! Where did babies come from? Ask your father. He is most famous for two things, one of which being his many wives. Henry had six wives, most of which he had executed. First, there was Catherine of Aragon. She and Henry had six children. Five died at a very young age, but one survived and went on to become Queen Mary I. She was married to Henry for almost 24 years, and it thankfully ended with a divorce. Second is Anne Boleyn. Anne and Henry had two miscarriages and one daughter, Queen Elizabeth I. She was married to Henry for about three years, and it ended with a beheading. Third is Jane Seymour. She and Henry had a son, King Edward VI. She unfortunately died in childbirth. Next up is Anne of Cleves. She was married to Henry for six months, and, like Catherine of Aragon, it thankfully ended with a divorce. Then, we have Catherine Howard. She was married to Henry for one and a half years, and was unfortunately beheaded. And finally, we have Catherine Parr. She was married to Henry for three years and six months, until Henry passed on January 28th, 1547. Oh, and before I forget, there was also Elizabeth Blount. While the father is unknown, Elizabeth had a child named Henry Fitzroy. Even though Fitzroy wasn't of Henry's own flesh and blood, he still took him on as his own child. This is actually a special occasion, because in most cases like this, Henry would just kill or give away the child. Sir, we have a new baby for you. Is it mine? No, well, no, but we were hoping you would... The other thing he's most popular for is the dissolution of monasteries. The dissolution of monasteries was a set of processes where King Henry disbanded not only monasteries, but priories, friaries, and convents in England, Wales, and Ireland. He also disposed of their assets and appropriated their income. Henry said that he was increasing the income of the crown, but in reality he was selling the property to fund his military campaigns. Basically, he suppressed the Roman Catholic Church and made the Church of England the nation's official religion. Yeah, you're neglecting your duties. I'm playing risk, thank you very much. Ah, let's see what we're doing. Why? Apparently, Henry VIII was also an accomplished sportsman. He liked throwing the javelin, hunting, archery, tennis, and horseback riding, but jousting was his favorite. Surprisingly, jousting is actually how he became, well, fat. You see, during a jousting match, Henry was struck in the leg. The damage was irreversible at the time, and he became fatter and angrier until he died. But before his leg injury, it is said that he was very charismatic and charming. He was also a talented musician. He played numerous keyboards, the lute, the harp, the recorder, and the flute. He also had a great singing voice. Hardest one, emotions. And to top it all off, he was behind the commissioning of England's first battleship, the Mary Rose, as well as the Royal Navy Dockyards at Woolwich and Deptford. He is considered the father of the British Navy. I was thinking 
Oh, he's been in his bed. How's it come up for a couple of days now? Alright. Alright. Oh, yeah. 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 Alright. Oh, Oh, crud. <laughs>